In this video, we will start looking at organic chemistry reactions. Now, as you can see over here, I've listed all of the different organic chemistry reactions that you will need to know in grade 12. It starts off with combustion reactions, then esterification, which a lot of you do your practical on. And then we go on to these three broad categories, addition, substitution, and elimination, all of which contain a number of sub reactions. This playlist will go over all of these reactions, but in this particular video, we'll be looking at combustion reactions. Firstly, you do need to be aware of the fact that alkanes are our most important fossil fuel and main source of various kinds of energy, such as energy needed to ge well, generation of electricity, powering cars, heat energy. It all comes from alkanes. And how do we harness this energy? Well, we have combustion or oxidation reactions. So alkanes, alkenes, alkynes, and alcohols burn easily in oxygen. So if we take an alkane and react it with oxygen, this results in a highly exothermic reaction. And you should remember from previous grades that exothermic reactions result in the net release of energy. Large, large quantities of energy is released during a combustion reaction. The change in enthalpy, the heat of the reaction is negative, which that's how we know it's exothermic. In your curriculum, we will take a look at take a look at the combustion of alkanes, the oxidation of alkanes. So alkanes, such as this alkane over here, I hope you know what alkane that is. It's got one carbon in it, so it's methane. So they'll say methane burns in oxygen or methane reacts with oxygen. And when we have the combustion of alkanes, it will always react with oxygen. So the alkane will react with oxygen to form carbon dioxide and water and energy will be released. As we mentioned, it's an exothermic reaction. Now for the complete combustion of alkanes, oxygen needs to be in excess, which means there needs to be over enough oxygen, it will not run out first. The oxygen is in excess, the alkane will therefore be the limiting reagent. So for if oxygen is in excess, it will result in the complete combustion of alkanes and then carbon dioxide and water will always be your product. So it doesn't matter what your alkane is, whether it's methane, octane, butane, whatever. If you reacted with excess oxygen, remember oxygen is O2. It's a diatomic molecule. It's not just O, it's O2. Your products will always be carbon dioxide oxide and water. So if they ask you, for example, to write a balanced equation to represent the complete combustion of methane in oxygen, you'll take your methane plus your oxygen, give you CO2 plus H2O, and then you'll balance it. Okay, so here are some tips for balancing combustion reactions, and this will always work. You first balance the number of carbons, then your H's, then your O's. So I just remember CHO. CHO. First your C's, then your H's, then your O's. If necessary, we might need to use a fraction to balance my oxygens, but then at the end of this process, if I've used a fraction, so for example, 6.5 or 6.5 or 7.5 or 2.5 or whatever, to get rid of your half or your 0.5, you need to multiply everything by 2, okay? So to get rid of your 0.5, you would multiply by 2, everything by 2. Let's do a few examples so I can show you. So for example, if we are doing the complete combustion of propane, you'll say propane, which is C3H8. Combustion, complete combustion, reacts with excess oxygen, and your products are going to be CO2 and H2O. It doesn't matter if you put H2O first and then CO2, it really does not matter. And then we balance it. Remember, we're going to balance the carbons first. So we look at the left-hand side of the arrow. Here's the left-hand side. Here's the right-hand side. So my number of carbons here is three. So I need three carbons on the right-hand side. So we did the Cs first. Then we're doing the Hs. On the left-hand side, I have eight. On the right-hand side, I only have two so far. So I need to put a 4 over here. Remember, this 4 gets multiplied by this 2. 4 times 2. That's where the 8 comes from. So I've done the H's. And then I need to balance the oxygens. So let's look at the right-hand side. Over here, I've got 4 times 1. Okay, remember there's an invisible 1 there. So I've got 4 oxygens here in the waters. And I've got 3 times 2. 
six oxygens here in the carbon dioxides. So six plus four, I have 10 oxygens on the right hand side, which means I need 10 on the left hand side. At the moment, I only have two. So that's where you put your five. So your final balanced equation will look like this over here. Remember, there's technically an invisible one in front of my propane over here, but I don't need to put it there. So it's a one to five to three to four ratio. What about butane? Okay, so but is four carbons. So C4H10 reacts with oxygen, excess oxygen. That's the complete combustion of butane. It will form carbon dioxide and water. That's just the products for the combustion reaction. Now, when we balance, we're going to balance the carbons first. So on the left-hand side, look at the left-hand side of the arrow. I've got four carbons over here, which means I need to put a four over there. So carbons done. Then I need to look at the hydrogens. On my left-hand side, I've got 10 hydrogens, which means on the right-hand side, I also need 10. But at the moment, I've only got two. So that's why I put a five over there, because five times two gives me 10. So I've done the hydrogens. Now I need to do the oxygens. So take a look at the right-hand side. I've got four times two, eight, okay, eight oxygens for the carbon dioxide, this part here, and five times one, so five oxygens over here. Eight plus five gives me 13. As you can see, that's an uneven number, which makes putting a number over here difficult. Because if I had to put a six over here, I'm only gonna have 12 oxygens. Six times two is 12. If I had to put a seven over here, that wouldn't work because then I'd have too many oxygens. I'd have 14. So what you have to do is you need to put a 6.5 over here. Now, 6.5 or six and a half multiplied by two does give me 13, but Remember, you can never balance a chemical equation and leave decimals in front as coefficients. It just doesn't work. So in order to get rid of a 6.5, the 0.5 means a half. In order to get rid of a half, we need to times by 2. But if I times this compound by 2, I need to multiply everything by 2. That's just a rule. So there was an invisible 1 over here in front of butane. 1 times 2 is two okay then we got to multiply the 6.5 by two we get 13 so 13 oxygens then we multiply the four by two we get eight carbon dioxide and then last but not least we not multiply the five by two and we get 10 h2o's remember when you balance a chemical equation you need to make sure that the ratio the coefficients over here are in the simplest possible ratio you can't simplify this ratio any further, so you know you've done it correctly. And that's combustion reactions done. In the next video, we'll take a look at esterification reactions, and then we'll move on to the big three categories listed over here.